Welcome to SafeCalculation.com For any inquiry, you might email us SafeCalculation at gmail.com or WhatsApp slash call plus 6281144834913491 Topic today is a morning wind sitting spread sheet calculation So the summary description is that this structural calculation is to determine the maximum vertical loading turning moment or horizontal shear load and to check the reinforcement structural strength The uh, B reference we are using the MP rules for classification of shape The material is the all the material to be mild steel HTM836 unless otherwise noticed Yield stress is 235 and then this is the allowable uh, bending stress The allowable uh, uh, shear stress is a 934 uh, megapascal So depends on the material that you are using uh, Either mild steel or high strength uh, you can change this this one Let's say that this calculation uh, is is not uh, yeah, is not able to support. You can change to uh, high tensile material, uh, 355 megapascal. So depends on your material here, and then depends on your calculation. So wind setting also here got a, a dimension. So uh, you just uh, key in or change the all the this the dimension based on your current uh, dimension of your wind sitting and also the deck and uh, other area the ten top insert pin plate thickness or how much so you just change this one uh, uh, elastic uh, modulus you don't need cha to change right and then this one is the strength of the fillet wells uh, allowable stress uh, okay so the sequence of this the mooring uh, winds are uh, the load distribution maximum bending moment Uh, you have to uh, determine the reaction uh, A or uh, B uh, from the center of gravity this is the center of gravity uh, uh, RC and uh, RD is the reaction uh, uh, in a C direction and R, R reaction in D direction so the height from the rider plate also you can uh, uh, determine depends on your uh, winds so at the moment this is the direction the height up from the rider plate is uh, 1050 right and then the brake holding static 200 tons so the brake holding static also depends on your uh, winds so how much the brake holding st uh, static normally is the safety uh, working load times of 4 this the uh, brake holding uh, static okay so from this the reaction pause the reaction pause is uh, from the position a b c d Uh, go to the direction to the center gravity is in zero right so this the length uh, the length position a from zero uh, to 2374 millimeter uh, from b uh, from zero this one is a 1724 and then the position c from the zero is a 1300 and then uh, from uh, D from 0 is a 1950 you just added this one right so based on, on this you can get the reaction post at point A point B point C and point D okay now we are checking the vertical force the vertical force from the buckling for wind setting is a buckle set is this one is uh, using the 0.5 uh, elastic modulus 0.6 GPA moment inertia Uh, for support part of the seating also uh, length of tube is uh, 1.630 so the tri critical a uh, lot is, is around uh, 3,200 tons this is the critical load right so once you reach the this the maximum 3,200 is this critical load become like the buckling already so this is the support of uh, bottom structure The support of button structure, the maximum is compressed force of each support is automatically, automatically getting right, and the number of the bracket how much? Uh, two. You can put two, three, four here. So all the value here, this one is uh, we become. Uh, you just change. So uh, you just change the the distance right. So let's say from A to D, this one. A to D is a 610 C to D how much uh, so 175 this one and then B to C is a how much 310 
310 and then A to B is 125 125 A to B so from this the uniform uh, distribute load because uh, here could the uh, we need to know the uniform distribute load also from the this uh, support right so reaction from A to A and B uh, you will get this one and then we will get in the bending moment so the bending moment uh, based on the section modulus we will get the bending stress so we are he here getting is a 108.63 is the below from the allowable stress okay so this is the acceptable vertical shear force also the vertical uh, shear force also based on the cross uh, sectional area on the B and then the shear stress so uh, based on, on this the normal allowable stress getting is a 110.60 is the below from the this uh, allowable stress also now we are need to check the horizontal force strength of the pore welding for shear stopper so the brake holding is a 200 ton so number of support setting let's say 2 right 1 2 and then horizontal load for is a support so much so this one we are getting the welding strain is a 628.71 so it's, it's quite okay right and then uh, because our our safety working load is 200 tons so means the welding is quite very strong because if you reach uh, more than this 620 m become fair but this one is, is uh, uh, more than 200 tons so means it uh, become very strong so the summary on this, the buckling for Windsor seating critical load is a 3,270 ton but we are just using the 200 ton so meaning it's acceptable the bending moment, the bending stress is we are getting is a 108.63 which is means uh, below the allowable stress 235 megapascal uh, and then the vertical shear force also uh, below on the this uh, 235 the normal allowable stress is 110 megapascal so uh, all this is, is uh, acceptable so you just key in uh, uh, on this the red, the, red, the red one just key in you just change so based on your input and just follow the this the uh, formula okay so this one uh, okay don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel safe calculation com if you need safe calculation and safe design drawing you might contact us email safe calculation at gmail.com whatsapp slash call uh, plus 62 8211448 or office call uh, plus 62 778 so if you need to get more information uh, on this the calculation you can double click uh, www.sipcalculation.com Thank you very much for your watching. See you again. Bye.